What's going on? Sorry. What's going on, everybody? Joshua Pennard here. That's it for me. Hi. <laughs> it's me, Robert Vincent McCory, the fourth. That Today is. with another reaction video, basically. Gotta move this. We are a reaction channel now. Yeah, that's what that's what we're rebranding to. But um. Yep. As and cooking. Saw, yeah, that too. But in as you saw in a recent video, we um looked at small bar and grill reviews. We looked at bar and grill reviews, and in that video, Robbie had an idea to review other it. reviews for something else. This isn't a business, though we do plan on doing that. I have a really good one for you guys that you're not going to find out now. But um, I think I already know it. Oh yeah, you probably know it. If you're, if you're thinking, whatever you're thinking of, it's probably it. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, we uh, but I, I liked Robbie's idea. It wasn't what I was thinking of, but it's still, I think it was still a good idea. We're going to be review reviewing movie reviews, basically reviews, like people We're reviewing movies. reviews. <laughs> yeah, reviewing reviews. People left. It's like a reviewception. Yeah, people left comments on some movies, so uh, yeah, this will, this will be fun. We'll be sure to tell you what movies there are, but let's. Um, I will give you a little bit of a disclosure first, though. I have not watched some of these movies, all right? Yeah, so, I, I'm not I, an expert. I mean, this first one we're doing, I haven't watched it either. I just, I'm just skimming, Me neither. Through, the, I'm just skimming through the plot. So, yeah, let's do this. And we're back. I didn't, I forgot to tell you, Robbie, that we're recording. But yeah, we're back. I just, okay, this is pissing me off. I, mean, I don't care, we're doing this during camera. Okay, there we go. That's better. So, me and Robbie are in the corner of the screen now, because the way these reviews are, it's weird. So, me and Robbie are at the corner. I don't know which corner. Uh, bottom left-hand corner. So, Robbie, look to your look to your left. You see, you see where you're looking right now? You're looking at the reviews. Your yeah. head is currently pointed towards reviews. Like that. Damn Those it, are Robbie. pretty cool, aren't they? Uh, up. Point up a bit more like this. There you go, there you go, you're pointing out. Those are pretty cool, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, so this first movie, as you can see, is The uh, the Kissing Booth. Let's do this. Uh, I want to get a poor review. Oh, okay, here's, oh, one honestly? From, here's one from H. That's all, H. H. One, one star, cringe. I cringed. <laughs> if high schoolers are this dumb, then we doomed. Noah is a control freak. I presume he's a character in the movie. He couldn't... Is a control freak and not a healthy example of a relationship. Even the protagonist's best friend is toxic of all the rules they have to their friendship. I hate the dumb, helpless girl. Boss around by men stereotype. And nothing is positive about the relationship with her love interest. She just seems to be swooned by his muscles. Everything feels so forced. Makes sense. Okay. I guess. I well, I, I from that, I don't think... Okay, so I can get a good job. Yeah. Um, one Star. Toxic Relationships, the movie. Basically, that's what he was making the title. Toxic Relationships, the movie. The Kissing Booth is a sexist and out-of-touch mess of a film disguised as a romantic young adult comedy. How this film... Portrays how young adults act is beyond laughable, and not in a genuine funny way. And how it portrays romantic and platonic relationships is just disturbing. Wait, so it doesn't seem like people like that. <laughs> I, gu I guess not. Wait, 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 wait. Watch the first kiss. It's just like... Okay, never mind. I'm, I'm, I'm getting lost in stuff here. One star from Dia pa 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 Parik. Sorry, I had to get really close. Okay. <laughs> I was not a big fan of the movie. It was downright cringy, and yes, I know it was a movie, but it just did not click. I tried to like it, but it was just not good. There was a, a way to any sexual scene. My favorite couple was... Okay, this is stupid. Um... Okay. He put too much thought into it. 
Yeah, he did. Apparently 16 people You're supposed to be blunt and annoying. <laughs> yeah, apparently 16 people found that review helpful. Um, you know what? I have an idea. I'm, I'm gonna switch to a movie that I have seen. I don't know if we're obviously it, but I've seen it, so I'll be able to help elaborate. And we're back! Now, um, this one- Hello! Is, this is a movie I've seen, it's called Juno. And what it is, it's a movie about... <clears throat> uh, a girl going through teenage pregnancy. I had to watch this in school. But, uh, first one from Sal. Terrible movie. Wife made me watch this thinking it was some rom-com. However, it turned out to be some terrible acting of a teenage pregnancy movie. Damn. It's like a sad story. Yeah. Uh, Margie A. I didn't like the movie. It was dull and uninteresting. The girl Juno was weird and the plot unexciting. <laughs> weird. Okay. There's, there's two... There's two things that are about the same thing. Now, let me tell you something. So, the main character, Juno, was played by a, an actress named Ellen Page. But, I don't know how recently, I think it was a bit over, maybe like seven or eight months ago, Ellen Page had a sex change. So she then became- Right, I think I heard about that. She became Elliot Page. And both of these reviews have something to do with that. Like, uh... Oh, no. <laughs> like, Lily... Oh, no. Like, Lily Kieper said, one star. Change Alan Page to Elliot Page. And then... And then Mason Villanueva. Um, I'm gonna pause real quickly and zoom in on this review. Because it is just... Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna zoom in. Because it is just... The, the one I'm looking at, Mason, it's just... I'm not gonna read it. Because I don't want to. <laughs> Because I think that'd be I think that'd be really bad. Robbie, when this video uploads, watch it and you'll see what I mean. You'll see what I mean. Uh, he will. Okay. Let's let's let me hold on. Alright. Um The ones that are good reviews aren't really exciting. Just giving credit to other people isn't fun. When you yeah. bash other people, it's fun. Well, yeah, good point. But this is, this is a good one. Five stars. I like this movie. Too bad I was only one year old when it came out. So they were born in 2006. That's pretty good. That's cool. Thank you for telling us when you were born. Yeah. <laughs> I love It's so true. It shows the mind of a teen all at once. Considering someone made poor, a poor review saying that it was like a misrepresentation of like teen pregnancy, I was kind of kind of confused. Some mixed opinions, I guess. I guess. Oh, this one's like, yes, teen. This one's like, no, you're stupid. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Ma Majani Welch, five stars. I loved it. When are they gonna make a Juno two? They can't. They can't really make a Juno two now. I don't think. Well, I mean, you're only a teen for like 10 years, so like... No, I'm not talking about that. You know why, Robbie? Why? Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that'd be kind of hard. Yeah, that makes sense. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Um, yeah, I wonder where it work. You know what, Robbie? How about, how about we do a movie you've seen? All right. Have you seen a movie? What's a, what, what's a movie you've seen? Have, have I seen a movie? I've seen a lot of movies. Which one? Um, which one do you want me to look at? Okay. So this is a funny movie. It's on Netflix. It's Netflix. It's called The Package. You can search that one though. Okay. We'll be right back to look at reviews for The Package. Okay. And we're back. <laughs> At the uh, reviews, I've learned a little bit about what this movie's about, so uh, this is gonna be great. Yeah, this is his suggestion, by the way. This is Robbie's. Robbie, you're below me on the webcam. This is you best. should definitely watch the movie, it's such a good movie. Yeah, uh, it's not weird at all. Thomas, Thomas Nitten, this is a week ago. This was a week ago. This he left this review three stars. The movie's all about, all about, uh. Uh, Wang. 
Literally, the movie is full of losing Wang. It's insane. <laughs> yes, it literally is. That's quite accurate. The movie That's was quite accurate. Ogu, what the hell? Ogu's Kagen Omes left three stars and said this movie was bored. Characters are so unrelatable and unfunny. There are barely few funny scenes. I think it was supposed to be unfunny, to be honest, if you watch it. Yeah. It's, like, so bad. And it's so bad that it's funny. And Jolly Rattan. Three stars. Funny and gross at the same time. One time watch. That's fair. That's fair. Harper, Harper Williams says, It was funny, but I say that it was very inappropriate. <laughs> inappropriate. It kind of is. I wouldn't be... I'm looking... I wouldn't be too happy about a movie called The Package. Yeah. And Home, I guess. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see the good reviews. Maruf Sid. Maruf Sid. Hmm. Five stars. Okay, this so this movie should be watched when you're in the mood for a mindless, raunchy comedy. That's a weird word. Raunchy. <laughs> It's not raunchy at all. It's literally about someone cutting their wang off. <laughs> the humor is great here. It's depending, not. The humor is great here, depending on if you have the taste for it. It had me laughing from the first scene. The movie ain't for kids, by the way. Overall, it's a pretty good one-time watch. It's definitely not for kids. <laughs> no, it's. It is, I'll tell you that much. It is not. <sighs> you know what's funny? Nothing to do with us. I was drinking a Pepsi Whale Cherry in the last review. Look what I'm drinking now. Yeah. I can't see you. You're you're think glitched out. Oh my god. This is stupid. You see it now, Robbie? I don't. You can just tell me. It's a Pepsi Wild Cherry. I was drinking that last time, now I'm drinking it this time. What a coincidence! Yo, Pepsi, if you want to, like, sponsor us, you should, uh... PepsiCo? Yeah, PepsiCo. I, I think you want my face on an ice cold Pepsi. Everyone start drinking. You know what? You know what you should do? Here. 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 What? Take Pepsi. Take this. Sponsor us. It's a pretty good drink. You know what? Yeah. Sponsor. You can tell me. So, PepsiCo uh, owns Mountain Dew, I'm pretty sure. So, so, like... Honestly, like, Mountain Dew, Damn it. War Crimes, Ahoy Blast, I, I don't know, man. What would it be? Like, what were the flavors supposed to be? Baja Ahoy Blast, that sounds good. Yeah, but like, yo, Pepsi, call me. Call me. You can't call me on this or phone. Call him. Like, you can't call me on He's this phone. He's probably better to talk to. You can't, you can't call me on this phone, though. This is for my grandmother. You can call me on this phone. I'm sure you understand. Anyway, back to the, the reviews. All right. Reviews on the package. Alrighty. Uh, uh, what's a good review? If you have Netflix, you should definitely just check out this movie because it's so stupid. It's just like, it's so stupid that you just have to watch it. <laughs> Alright, this is Nick Nelson, five stars. This was, this was the best movie to watch at two a.m. after my homework. Lol, funny all the way and pretty cringy at times too. I recommend. That was that was an accurate accurate. Was, that was yeah. an accurate review. Just don't watch because you want to watch something good. Just watch it because you want to do something. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> let's uh, let's go to a different movie. I have a good movie. Okay, this one, this is an old movie. This is 1984. This is Footloose. What? I've never seen it. And I know the plot of it. It's basically about like a weird society where it's illegal to dance. Because like a lot of that kind of music was starting to like get really popular in the 80s. So it was illegal to dance, I think. Like, like Interesting. I, remember, I remember one of the most notable scenes from the movie was there was a guy that was dancing to this weird song and he was angry about everything and he went to this warehouse to like dance. It was pretty cool. 
It was actually That's really pretty cool. cool. It was a really good scene. But, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Noah Biondi. A year ago, one star. According to Peter Parker, it was never the greatest movie of all time. I don't get that one. Me neither. Malachi Taylor. One star. Bad. I don't like it at all. So bad. Okay. It's so bad. <laughs> um. You just give any reasoning at all. It's just bad. Yeah. Mary Kate Bellion. One star. As a 16. As, as a 16 teen year old. Who has loved classics yes. since she was 10. I've just found this one typical and unoriginal. I could not pay attention since it's summer now. I'm going to try to watch more famous movies, but this one just isn't it. I'd much rather watch a Brat Pack movie or Dazed and Confused, etc. It's just predictable. No hate. It's just not my cup of tea. Fair. That was fair. It's kind of like how Fortnite is not my cup of shield. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're back, and uh, we're at a cool movie that Robbie suggested, so uh, let's get right into it. R one, Roger. Called... What? This one's called Super Bad. Yeah. Super Bad. I don't know if it's one word. It is one word. I was showed the movie. Yeah. This I watched one. it. This this it guy pretty good. This guy Roger Ramgulam, one star. You need to smoke some weed before watching this movie. It's really boring and predictable. Nothing is particularly funny about it. It shouldn't even be called a sex comedy because there's no sex. It's true. There isn't. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. It's true. This is true. Uh, Ash, I'm Ashish Yadav. One star, worst movie I gave ever. I gave ever seen. Before seeing the gave movie, ever seen it. Before this, before seeing the movie, a see the goggle users like a thought. I will be a good movie, but after seeing it is a waste of time. Yes. Same. One star. Of course. I, I only ended up watching this movie after seeing hundreds of people say this is one of the greatest comedies of all time. Personally, I personally yep. I did not enjoy it. And I got very bored very quick. Overrated. Sorry. Sorry. Overrated. Okay. <laughs> that was loud. Um, I would like to give my own review. All right. Okay. Huh? I would like to give my own review of the movie. Okay. Personally, I thought it was extremely decent. <laughs> like, it was funny. Because that, uh, the actor, like Michael Sarah or whatever his name is, uh, he's really uncomfortable. Oh. Uh, I think he's supposed to be really uncomfortable in Michael, the movie. Michael Sarah? Yeah. That was the guy in one of the previous movies we reviewed, Juno. He was in that too? He was. He was in that movie. He pay, he played Juno's boyfriend, Polly Bleeker. Huh. Yeah. He seemed very uncomfortable in the movie. I think he was supposed to be. Yeah. I think, that's, I think that's what he does best at, because he was also like uncomfortable in Juno too. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying it's like a bad thing. Yeah, I think it was Michael, funny. Michael Sarah just pulls off the uncomfortable vibe. Michael Sarah is pretty cool. Good job, man. I yeah. mean, do what you're good at. Yeah, pretty that's pretty cool. And most of all, it was fairly successful. It got pretty good reviews. So. I wouldn't say it was bad. I just wouldn't say it's like one of the best things. Yeah. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So I give it a six out of ten. Really? Six? Yeah, I mean, five is like completely neutral. Yeah. So yeah. like six. Yeah. That's that's a that's a good point. I think. Cool. All right. Now I think we're gonna end this here because we've done a lot of movies. Not really. We did a few.
But uh, this video is getting pretty long once again. I didn't really expect it to get this long. It's our, it just hit 20 minutes now, so what can we wow. say? Wow! Yeah. If you've been watching this whole time, just pat out of the back. And if I could give you a cookie, I would. But I can't. You don't, because you, so you don't have any cookies. And he can't do much even yes. if he did, so. I'm not going to break into your house. Even if you want me to. I might, if you have something of value. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for being honest. Yeah. Anyway, um, be sure to subscribe, uh, comment, follow our Instagram, follow our uh, 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 Spotify. Check us out on Spotify. Download the podcast episodes. We released an episode recently, so check that out. Um, Do that. Yeah, we don't have a Twitter, but follow it anyway. And uh, Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we will see you guys in the... Uh, please, please, pretty... <laughs> please download. <laughs> please. Anyway. Please. We will, uh... Oh, what the hell? We will see you guys in the next thing we make.